Hi everyone, my name is Aldemar Orca and I'm one of the senior functional consultants here at Scale North. Today we will discuss how to show the balances per month in the consolidated balance sheet. Currently, the ability to run consolidated balance sheet by accounting period is a system limitation in its view. However, there is an available alternate so uh, solution that requires little customization of the report. This video will show you the steps on how to create the report that you need. To access the balance sheet, users can navigate to reports, financials, and then click on balance sheet. Select the subsidiary context to parent company consolidated and go to the column dropdown. As you can see, the accounting period option is not available. But if I go ahead and select the parent company and then toggle back to the column dropdown, the accounting period option will now appear on the, on the column dropdown. So if I click on refresh, this will show me the balance sheet and the per reports on a per month or in a monthly um, comparative level. So in order for us to run the reports on the consolidated level, sim similar to the, to the parent level, we just need to customize the report by clicking the customize button below. Go to the edit columns port lid and then click on the financials section. Click on the amount and then on the custom label, we can rename this on the period that we need. For example, January 2022. And then on the alternate period range type, select relative to today's today. And then on the alternate period range, click on the custom, and then you will have the option to select the period. So for this one, we'll select January 2022. As soon as we hit preview, and select on the consolidated level, refresh. This will give us the month that we need for January 2022. So you just have to repeat the process, return to customization, and then select on the financials, the amounts, then another amount column here appears. Just change the custom label to February 2022, and then alternate period range type, today's date, and then just select the period to custom, and then select February 2022. and then click on preview or save. So there you have it. This will allow you to run the report on a per month or per period basis.